Mass Intentions for Wednesday, 24th March, 2021. Month's Mind Mass for the Repose of the Souls of Valentino J. Gomendez, Maria J. Galco, Maria Lancy Disa, Panmati Norbert, First Death Anniversary for the Souls of Marlon Pereira de Carmo, Richard de Souza, and for all the intentions in the mass box. Please stand. For our entrance, we shall sing, Come to the Table of the Lord, my friends. Come to the table of the Lord, my friends. Come to the altar of His love. He lived and died for you and me, my friends. He comes again to us today. Come to the table of the Lord, my friends. Come to the altar of His love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us humbly call to mind our sins and ask God and each other for forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God of compassion, enlighten the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, and in your kindness, Grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Daniel. In those days, Nebuchadnezzar answered and said to them, Is it true, O Sadraj, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods or worship the golden image that I have set up? Now, if you are ready, when you hear the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, dragon, harp, bagpipe, and every kind of music to fall down and worship the image that I have made, well and good. But if you do not worship, you shall immediately be cast into a burning, fiery furnace. And who is the God who will deliver you from my hands? Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If this be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of your hands, O King. But if not, be it known to you, O King, that we will not serve 
your gods or worship the golden image that you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was filled with fury and the expression of his face was changed against Sadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He ordered the furnace heated seven times more than it was usually heated. And he ordered some of the mighty men of his army to bind Sadrach, Meshach and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished and rose up in haste. He declared to his counselors, did we not cast three men bound into the fire? They answered and said to the king, True, O king. He answered and said, But I see four men unbound, walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt, and the appearance of the fourth is like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar answered and said, Blessed be the God of Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants, who trusted in him and set aside the king's command and yielded up their bodies rather than serve and worship any God except their own. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm is, You are to be praised and highly exalted forever. Please listen to the tune. You are to be praised and highly exalted forever. Please repeat. You are to be praised and highly exalted forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our ancestors, and to be praised and highly exalted forever. And blessed is your glorious holy name, and to be highly praised and highly exalted forever. Our response. You are to be praised and highly exalted forever. Blessed are you in the shrine of your holy glory and to be extolled and highly glorified forever. Our response you are to be praised and highly exalted forever kindly rise for the gospel glory and praise to you O Lord Jesus Christ. All together. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are those who, hearing the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart and bear fruit with patience. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the Jews who believed in him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. 
they answered him we are offspring of abraham and have never been enslaved to any one how is it that you say you will become free jesus answered them truly truly i say to you every one who practices sin is a slave to sin the slave does not remain in the house forever the son remains forever so if the son sets you free you will be free indeed i know that you are the offspring of abraham yet you seek to kill me because my words find no place in you i speak of what i have seen with my father and you do what you have and you do what you have heard from your father they answered him abraham is our father Jesus said to them if you were Abraham's children you would be doing the works that Abraham did but now you seek to kill me a man who has told you the truth that i heard from god this is not what Abraham did you are doing the works your father did they said to him we are not children born of sexual immorality we have one father god jesus said to them if god were your father you would love me because i came from god and i am here i came not of my own accord but he sent me the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ today's gospel passage is a meditation on the exchange that Jesus often had with those Jews who did not believe in him as opposed to those Jews who did believe in him in the first reading we had three men slaves in the court of Nebuchadnezzar who represent those who were working under foreign rulers who were obliged to worship the emperor and his statue which was put in the temple and these three men were true to god and true to their faith even to the point of being thrown into a fiery furnace and they survived the gospel helps us to realize that when we truly believe truth will set us free and no test will defeat us or enslave us in this way both the readings of today's mass prepare us for the basic choice that Jesus himself will make in holy week when he obeys his father rather than obeys the jewish authorities and pilot let us ask jesus and let us ask god to strengthen our faith not to be turned like the cold hearted unbelieving jews but the true jews who were children of abraham sons of faith Blessed are you Lord God of all creation through your goodness we have this bread to offer 
fruit of the earth and the work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name. and grant that they may become remedies for our healing through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you will that our self denial should give you thanks humble our sinful pride contribute to the feeding of the poor and so help us imitate you in your kindness and so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim Holy 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 Lord God of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord hosanna hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection <coughs> we offer you lord the bread of life <coughs> and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope oswald gracious our cardinal archbishop his auxiliaries and all the clergy religious and people of god remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him with him in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us o lord we pray from every evil and graciously grant us peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom and the power and the glory be are yours now and forever lord jesus christ you said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but upon the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace unity and true inner happiness in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace and joy of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer one another the peace of christ lamb of god you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us, us. Lamb, lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us make our spiritual communion with the Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen we shall sing greater love and friendship greater love and friendship has to
for others Give his life for all No more are you servants I have called you friends All my father told me Let us pray. <clears throat> May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine be available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are on the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace and glorify the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. We shall sing our hearts were made for you, Lord. Never find, never find, 
Never fun.